lot of people ask me what the project's about, and I say it's about turning a bridge into a building, and they're somewhat uh, flabbergasted by that, but uh, we have a solid, uh, well-maintained structure that uh, should be reused. I saw the article in the Buffalo Evening News uh, about Rand and his idea, and up until then I thought the best thing for the waterfront would be to tear down the Skyway. Uh, and, and then after I read that article, I was uh, just amazed at the idea. I went down to take a really good look at the structure. Uh, I took a look at it and I envisioned this thing right off the bat. And so I started about a, a year-long uh, research project. I started doing some renderings. I um, began to talk to people and pretty soon we had the makings of a real project. I think it's actually very unique and creative, like a great use of the, like the Skyway. It's better than tearing it down. You can just make something that really puts a stamp on like originality in Buffalo again. This new batch of people that's coming tonight are generally uh, UB architecture graduates and illustrators and uh, computer uh, animators. Um, so they'll be adding to our group and we feel if we can take this project to the next level, we can start to seek some funding or start to seek some investors who might give a real push to this idea. Stumbled across uh, Mr. Weber's vision yeah. of the Buffalo Skyway and just was in awe. And I was like, man, you know, this is unbelievable. It's incredible. Um, I definitely want to be part of it any way possible. So it's nice to have somebody that has actually taken something that's been an eyesore and a problem since the 70s mm -hmm. or 60s, I don't know when it was built, but and then taking it and reinventing it into something that is useful and not just turning it down like it's always been the mantra of American right. building. Things. Right, urban development. At this point we have probably 15 people helping us and they're all volunteers and the quality of the people is, seems to be getting greater as the project goes along. To be part of this new beginning of these you know, young professionals that want to uplift our city and see it in a different light, so um, that's where I'm at today. It's, it's the young blood for sure. They, they, they can see this stuff. Um, the fact that they're architects, they know it's, it's plausible and it's doable and it's buildable and uh, without that kind of training, it may seem a little bit far-fetched. I think this is important just to have people of different trades come together and make something that helps the community and helps the city because I think Buffalo, I, I heard that many people say that they've been saying this for years that it's coming back, but at least it's, it has that feeling that it's coming right. back. Yeah. Right. So. A lot of these people who are joining in now feel that this might be a way to create a job, or um, that makes sense to me, is to actually start creating jobs for ourselves, and hopefully that will spill over into the community. Um, the potential that's happening right now at the waterfront, I think there's something untapped right there in front of our eyes that we're just not seeing. And I think, uh, I mean, Mr. Weber's vision is, you know, should be right there in the limelight.